Hey guys, so I'm walking down here to my local pond today, packing really light. <clears throat> Just got my lipless, it's a Strike King lipless crankbait. It's like a sexy shad, but it's like an olive on the top there. Hopefully that does the trick today. Just got my St. Croix medium heavy fast. It's a beautiful day, mid-November, actually pushing the end of November into December, but it's November 20th, it's like 55 degrees outside. Hardly any wind, if any at all, <clears throat> and just going to see if I can't get a bite on the old Strike King lipless crankbait. Let's go to work. Well, this first spot we're going to try today is down off of these rocks, and I found out where all the geese are hanging out at. This must be the geese hot spot, but the water looking super clear, ultra clear. That's good news. Or maybe it's not. I guess we'll find out. All right. Well, let's see if this Strike King does the trick. There's one. Stay up. Oh, good sized fish. Good sized fish. Stay on. Oh, stay on. Oh, stay on. Oh, good fish. Excellent. Great start. I don't really want to get my hand. Oh, that's a good fish. Wow. Excellent start. Sweet. All right, now I just gotta do a little surgery and get this hook out of them. Good thing I brought my pliers. Wow. Great start on the night, man. Oh, he's got a Got a gnarly tail, he got bit by something. That's probably a nice two pounder, two and a half pounder I'd say. Good healthy fish, except the weird tail there. Cool, get a couple pictures and let him go. Like I said, two, maybe three pounder. If I'm being generous, I'll call it three. Let's let him go. Got him out there on the old lipless crank. Thanks buddy. There she goes. All right, let's get another one. Got her on that lipless crank. Good looking bait. Apparently the bass like it too. Just burning that straight back. Keeping that rod tip nice and high. Just burning it back to me. There's another one. Stay down. Not as big as the first one, but we'll take it. Get up here. Not nearly as big as the first one, but two fish on the day. Maybe five cast in. He hit that twice. I know. Don't do that, please. We got you. Oh, we got you hooked twice in there. Let's get you out of there quick before you get me. Much as I want to get hooked with a treble tonight, I really don't. 
Come on out of there. You were hooked good, weren't you? Just about. There we go. All right, cool. Now we hook the pliers. Cool. Number two. Get up here, camera. Not nearly as big as first one, but I'll take a numbers day. Absolutely, I'll take a numbers day. Let's let him go. Her go. He, she. Gender neutral. Gender neutral fish. All right. Thanks, buddy. You gotta go that way. There you go. Cool. Number two. Let's do it again. Well, <clears throat> only a couple of fish on this spot, so I guess we'll move on to the next one. I'm in a bush. I can walk, maybe. Oh, I'm all tangled up. What the F? Sun is setting quickly as it does in November so guys what I'm doing now is I'm walking along this river scouting this out to see if I can find a spot to throw this lipless crank but it's no more than six inches deep three four inches deep along this whole spot so but I've heard good things I've heard so there were some giants caught out of this river I'm just not seeing any spots that would work with this bait unless it gets deeper over here and it does get deeper but not by much well it's worth a few casts I guess All right guys, that's gonna do it for today. Uh, just the two fish, little, well, nice size three pounder, and then uh, the little dink. With the way those fish bit, one right after the other, I was down there maybe 15 minutes and I caught two nice sized fish, two, two nice fish. But the way those fish bit, I thought for sure it was going to be a big numbers day. But must have just caught the feeding window or, don't know. Hard to say. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I have some more videos up soon. Until then, that'll do it from Todd Rider Outdoors. Peace.